Hello and welcome to Control Delete Tutorials. My name is Jason and in this series we've been looking at a Mixamo uh, animation workflow. Uh, in the last video we looked at how do we replace our uh, imported Mixamo rig with the 3ds Max cat rig which we can see right here. And so now what we want to do is we want to export this character again and bring this into Mixamo. The reason we don't want to use that previous rig is since we've replaced out all of the bones, these all have their own name to them. So any animation I would bring from Mixamo to bring onto this character is not going to work. So we need to do that. Um, we need to re-export this. So we'll do that the same way we did before. So we'll go to export. And we're just doing export, not export selected. And I've got my Break It Mario here. So I'm going to not replace this one, just because I like to have backups of my files. I'm going to make a new one, and I'm going to call this Break It Mario Cat. So I know that that's the cat rigged version. Okay, all of my settings here should be the same. I'll just leave bake animation on there. There's no animation, so we don't really have to worry about that. Want to make sure embed media is checked. Want to make sure that animation is checked. We hit OK. And that gets exported. Now we'll hop back over into Mixamo. And we're going to go to 3D Animations Preview. Now if I go to Upload and I select my character file, I'll show you what happens here. Sometimes it'll detect that it's already um, rigged and it won't have to go through the auto rigger. We'll see if we get lucky enough to do that. Okay, your character is ready to use. Make this current. So it does look like it is going to use this character. So if I go to my assets, all right, so I've got Break It Mario Cat. I'm going to go ahead and delete my old one there just so it does not use that in any of the animations because nothing's going to make you more angry than setting up all the animations you want for your character and then finding out that you set it up for the wrong one or something like that and you've exported all the wrong animations. And I'm going to export a couple different animations here just so we can see how this works. And there are a lot of animations to choose from. So we'll wait for it to load in the character. Currently, there are no animations. I'm just going to go over here and say Find Animations. And so we can just use some of the ones from here. Some are going to work better for this character than others. So I'm going to do what I would typically look for in most games. I'm going to look for an idle animation. So we'll do something like an idle, a walk, a run, um, and maybe like an attack, something like that. Okay, so this idle looks pretty good. Let's see how it looks on him. Okay, and not too bad. We don't have too much clipping going on. Sometimes if you have a character with really large hands like this, uh, we can have some issues with the hands kind of clipping through. They do give us some features here for like character arm spacing. So if I move that over, we'll see the arms come out more. Kind of like the way that looks a little bit more. His feet are doing some weird stuff. Okay, that's probably because the feet are still twisted a little bit. We'll just have to deal with that for now. Uh, right now, this is set up to loop. Uh, if we wanted to mirror it the other way, we could do that. So once you have your animation that you want, we're going to just say Add to Pack. And it's going to add in the idle there. So now we'll do a search for walking. And we got a bunch of walking to choose from. I'm going to find one that just kind of fits him because he's kind of like a big... Tough guy. Kind of like the way this one looks. Okay. So there's two different things that we can do with these animations. We can either have them have locomotion like this, which can be used in Unity and things like that. I'm going to do that for this demo just so we can see how do we fix any foot placement issues. If I set it to walk in place, he'll walk in place and doesn't move forward. So we're going to just go ahead and leave it. Uh, with locomotion. We'll look and see if the arms need to be moved out. You can see they are definitely clipping through the body. So we'll just change our character arm spacing here. 
Much better. Okay, add to pack. And then we'll do running. And let's see, kind of like this running here. Okay, character arm spacing, we'll just space those out again. All right, that looks all right. We have the same option here for running in place, but we're good with this. So walking, running, idle. And let's say we have uh, attack. And we'll try to find one here that just has a lot of kind of movement to it. That's a jump attack. That's pretty big. Let's see, mutant, jump attack. Kind of like this mutant guy. He's kind of big like... Uh, break it Mario here. <laughs> Let's see. Let's just type in mutant and see what animations we get for him. Mutant punch. Swiping. like that one. That one's good. Bam. All right. And we can see arm spacing needs to be moved out a bit here. All right, so that should be good. And I'm going to just name what these animations are. So I'll just type in break it Mario anims. Okay, that should save it. I believe it already saved, but I'm going to do that. All right, so now I'm going to say add to my assets. So it's going to basically save out all of these, exporting them. And now I can view my downloads by clicking on the same button. It's going to show us the same thing over here. And let's move that arm spacing back out. They may already be set up and saved. Running. Just make sure that's all set up. I don't know that it changed it. Let's go back and see if. Yeah, OK. So I may not have had to do that. I might already have it saved. So I'm going to queue the download. Again, I want to change from T-Pose to the original pose. Uh, 30 frames a second is good. That's what we're using in Max. If you were using Maya, you'd want to do 24. If you're taking this directly into Unity, you might want to set it up for 60. Keyframe reduction, I'm going to say none. I just leave it as is. We can always tweak that in 3ds Max. And we'll say Q Download. That's going to bring this up here and we'll download. So we'll just save our file. And in the next video, what we're going to do is look at bringing these in, re, um, setting up foot positions, because uh, the cat rig has these foot positions, these platforms, and the Mixmo animation does not get applied to these foot positions. It actually gets applied to the bones here for the feet. So what we need to do is key all of that animation. So I'll show you how to do that in the next video. Thanks for watching.